Stargazing is gonna happen. Why? Because the guys was with the telescope. Does anyone see any color in this star over here? This is a really good night for stargazing. I don't know if you guys can see them all shining in the sky. It's right up there. See that? You see it? It's that one. Yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, well, you haven't missed anything. Okay, good. Matter of fact, you're after these folks. Okay, perfect timing then. Okay, you're, you're okay. Nice. <laughs> That's oh my crazy. God. I tried to that is crazy. Nice. That Memories looks fake. No, it looks like no, that. No, ah, no, she no. just said it. It looks fake. You gotta go see that. It's like this a side. It's so weird. Sure. Oh my god. I got it. It's just in the Oh my god. Oh my god. This is crazy. I want one of these telescopes. Comes up out of the ocean last. Maui's pulling islands up out of the ocean. But now it's curled over the curve of the earth and now it's horizontal and sideways. So in the west, this is Scorpio. That's the stinger of Scorpio. The hook is the Maui fish hook. Telescope over on uh, the GPS. It's automatically pretty nice. Comes out. Over 600 times your eye. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So what we're going to see looks like a smoky fog. That's what you want to see in here. Because you're also going to see a whole bunch of baby stars that were born out of the smoky fog. So the fog is down low and baby stars are up above. The fact that the fog is still there, the nebula, stars are still being born. Massive cloud, way out there, hydrogen gas as it breaks into pieces, spins into a tight ball, it gets so hot, they light up into stars. Yeah? This is the nursery. We are right about here. You see above the Scorpio, there's a bunch of stars up there? Yeah. That's not a cloud. That's, a, that's the glow of billions of stars. Oh, wow. That's the Milky Way band right in here. Yeah. We see Saturn right here because our sun is reflecting light off the cloud. If we were on Saturn and we looked in the sky, we would see the Earth, you know, in the sky. Right. Yeah, which is the sunlight reflecting off the Earth. Is that Saturn right there, you Yeah, this is Saturn. Well, I'll describe it when we get there. It just looks like... And then a light shining. It's so beautiful. The stars are a little older. They're moving away from the cloud because they're whipped into existence and they spin off. And we're right over the hook. We went down just a little bit. And this is called the butterfly star cluster because some people see the wings of a butterfly. Really, really nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm trying to, um, uh, like, calibrate or fix the oh, telescope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can so I get the bright. Jupiter slide? Can I get the Jupiter slide down here? Oh, That's slide. Jupiter right there. It's crazy. See how bright it is? You're going to see it. <laughs> it's just right system where two stars stay together as they travel through the galaxy. So you can see all these baby stars, there's so many of them, and they all light up at different times. But as they're moving through the cloud or the nebula, another star could light up or they meet up with another one. They lock in on each other by gravity. They stay together as they're moving through the galaxy. That's a double star system. About a third of the stars have a companion, but our eye is so small. We think 10 years for us. Okay. Our sun is around 5 billion years old, so our sun is about 50 years old. Got it. Yeah. So we can live to 100, this is about 10 billion. Got it. Which is rare, not everybody does. It's only 400 million as compared to 800 million. So Jupiter's going to be big, <coughs> so it's going to be nice. Oh, nice. We're going to see Jupiter. Nice. Which direction's the center of the Milky Way? Oh, it's up here right now. Uh, you see Sagittarius, the tea kettle, sideways, teapot, yeah. right above the top, a little bit over and a little bit down, a little bit right around here in the haze of the Milky Way is a massive black hole, and that's the center of our galaxy. Wow. So every star in the sky, including our sun, we're all going around that point. Oh, wow. All these stars, that's why the haze is like this. So we're actually tilted, but we're on a path going around this point. Yeah, and hopefully we'll see some bright moons around. 
that will go over your head. If you know the star or stars that go over your head and you change your north and south <coughs> latitude, that sky is going to shift again. Remember the north star goes higher up. So the star that, when you go north, the star that goes over Hawaii is going to go across at an angle to the south because you shifted the sky. You're not in Hawaii anymore. It's not going to go right overhead. Yeah? So now you want to get back. You're going to follow the star. The star that goes over Hawaii is Arcturus. It's near the Big Dipper's handle, and we call it Hopu Lea, Star of Gladness, because we're glad to be home when that star goes right overhead. When you go home... Hey, thank you so much. Mahalo. So we can't see any of these right now? From our oh, no, that's amazing. You're right here. You're right over the...